And your mic is just behind you. Hi everyone, thanks for staying. Now, um, there's a funny echo. <laughs> um, now, I know a little bit about women, so I know why this was such a riveting watch, because she has a background in in the news, in document documentaries, in um, in filmmaking in general, and in a lot of, I think we should, we're standing too close together, um, and a lot of television work as well. And I think that really adds to um, the sort of riveting nature of the story and allows you to just go along for, for the ride. Um, but why don't you tell them a little bit more about your background before we get into the film? Well, it's so funny, I was going to leave but I, it, it, this film Mike, always sort of, Mike, it, this Mike. film always sort of hooks me in so I feel like I was gonna leave and then come back at the end but I just love watching Gloria and I was a TV news reporter and then I was a producer at PBS in Miami and uh, 13 years ago someone said would you like to shoot a sex change operation of the senior citizen and you have to remember this is way before Transparent and Orange is the New Black and Caitlyn slash Bruce Jenner. It, this was 13 years ago, so transgenderism was a subculture in itself, but a senior citizen having this kind of surgery was enough of a story. And I thought the story at the time was, you're never, it's never too late, you're never too old to do what you want to do, to be who you want to be. So I, I, I thought this was, Great. So I said, and they wanted a woman. She wanted a woman to shoot the surgery. She did not want a man to do it. So they found me, and I said, absolutely. <laughs> well, she found the right person. That's for sure. Um, now, of course, when someone transitions later in life, there does seem to be more challenges at hand. Um, you've, of course, um, got the possibility of family dysfunction, children who don't come to terms with your decision, um, the financial barrier, the massive medical costs, the, um, and then the standard of beauty um, that might not be possible to attain if you can't necessarily pass. So um, Gloria had the courage to take the leap and she had the means to, to make the, the transition. Um, how do you think, where do you think that courage and determination came from? I think if she's, you know, when she was a man, she was very courageous. Uh, and, and like she said, you know, she didn't take shit from anyone. I, she told me this one story when she was an auto wrecker and someone came into the body shop and they made a deal for a windshield. And um, when she brought the windshield out, carrying it like this, the guy says to her, you know, I, th I think you should give it to me for a hundred bucks less. I mean, I'm sure I can find it after they had negotiated a price. And it, it, the integrity, the lack of integrity in this person after they made a deal, she's carrying this, uh, he at that time, carrying this heavy thing back to, to sell it and Butch just dropped it on the floor right in front of this person. And it just shows that, you know, she has chutzpah and, um, she leads her life, and even Butch, to a certain extent, led his life, you know, from this core sense of determination and courage and, uh, you know, just a strong sense of self, even though he was profoundly hap unhappy in some ways as Butch, very unlucky in love, unlucky in business because he lost his business because of the divorce. So, but the core of Butch and Gloria was someone who had a, a strong sense of self. Now, had you seen any films about trans pioneers or trans activists or trans individuals in general before you made this film? No, at that time, 13 years ago, there really wasn't that much. I mean, now, Lucy, you know, there have been a lot of films at LGBT film festivals, which is more than ever, right, in the right. last few years. Absolutely. The competition has gotten greater. So, no, there was no real reference back then. So, and I, I really think that this film is more of a character study than an LGBT film. I mean, it's the transgender films that you hear about is, you know, born in the wrong body 
And that's really uh, legitimate, and that's an important story to tell, the, the discrimination, the um, high suicide rate, uh, job discrimination. So those are important stories to tell. And in fact, when this film just came out, there was some backlash against Gloria and the film because she wasn't born in the wrong body. And some people thought, like Dawn says in the film, that she was trivializing the experience. And many in, in the transgender community felt like, look, we have gotten, it has taken us so long to get so far to let the public know this is not a choice. This is just something that's inside us and we're willing to risk our lives to be true to ourselves. So now Gloria comes along and says, this is a choice, I just wanted to be this person and she's so funny about it. Actually, her humor really hides um, fear. You know, she uses humor and has her whole life to mask this, uh, this uh, fear of, you know, in a, in a tough situation. She uses that humor to get by, to survive. So you can't, you can't really look at the surface humor that she has about everything. There's something deep below that. But there was a lot of backlash in the community. And my feeling was that this is a story about acceptance. This is a story about everybody has a right to be happy. And no matter how you come to it, it's not for us to judge what makes you happy. If she's happier as a woman, regardless how she gets there, why doesn't she as an individual have a right to be happy? And why do people in her own community have a right to say, you're not for real, you're lying, like she says in the beginning of the film? Sure, it's, very, it's a very complex. Um, story and, and a, a little different from the ones that we've seen I think at the festival in previous years. Um, I'm sure there are a lot of questions in the audience so raise your hand if you want to ask anything about the film. Go ahead. Yes. Um, <clears throat> thank you. Uh, really enjoyed the movie and I really feel like I've got a, a real understanding of this person. I'd be interested to know um, what you learned about yourself, what was hard for you. You know, you had your own process. This film took a long time. And, uh, it's, it's a very good know. question. It's an excellent question. No, because, it, because there was a self-examination. I mean, we, we shot the sex change operation 13 years ago, and we didn't see each other for 10 years because her nephew, Stephen, was sort of managing her story. He was doing a book called My Uncle Gloria, and he, it was a book. And he also thought he wanted to be involved in the filmmaking process. And for me, that just doesn't work, especially if you have no filmmaking experience. And if, if he had had any kind of story approval, this would have been much more about him. Because we, we actually shot many scenes with him in a courtroom, like he did drug, drug court, helping young kids. And, I tested the film and people just wanted to see more and more of Gloria. It was like, get back to a Gloria scene already. So I, it wasn't his film. I had to weave him in a way that, you know, it added a layer for their family, but as it relates to her. So if it was him in, at the wheel, this would have been a very different film. But for me, it was, I, you know, I'm uh, straight and I, um, didn't have a lot of exposure. And I would go out to dinner with Gloria and Dan, and it's a fascinating experience. And I would have friends that would go out with them. In fact, I had another film at festivals, and I invited Gloria and Dan, so they were surrounded by a bunch of my friends, and they were perplexed at the two of them together. Like, she had, Dan has some female characteristics, and. Gloria is still macho, and so we're looking, you know, there's no gender here. And for me, I came to that conclusion that, what are these labels? I started to question for myself, why are we so hung up on labels? Why do we even have to say gay? I, I just, I really started to process this, like, sexuality is a private thing. Why is it someone has to de declare they're gay or straight or lesbian, and I just, became more 
con confident in, in believing that labels should not really exist, especially in the workplace, but even in society. Why can't we, just as we're having dinner with Gloria and Dan, just enjoy these two people for who they are, for the mix of, of gender that they express? So I loved that. I loved it. I wanted to share it with people, that genderless experience of being with two fun people.